What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Ever dream of having an alter ego? Mine would be one of those badass assassins. I don't know, there is something sexy about a woman who can kick anybody's butt. Anyways, this is the makeup that I come up with if I ever become a badass assassin. So, without any further ado, let's move on to the video. Okay, don't mind my creepy contact lens. I wanted to transform myself, but didn't really turn out the way I want to. Anyhow, make sure to prime your lids. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I also top it off with NYX eyeshadow base in Nude. Today, I will be using the new Crown Brush 35 Rose Gold Palette. You can get them in their website. I will be using their brush right here that I actually got from the Generation Beauty. For my eyeshadow, I'm mixing these two beautiful key shades right here and I'm gonna pack it on all over my lid and I'm gonna wipe the brush a little bit and then use it to blend the edges of my eyeshadows really really simple next I am going to create a super dramatic cat eye using my new essence super fine eyeliner pen if you love the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner then you will absolutely love this one as well and the best thing about this is it's only around four or five dollars seriously a fraction of the price of the Kat Von D one okay I already applied my foundation and all that good stuff I used the Milani 2-in-1 conceal and perfect foundation in the shade 0910 now here I'm concealing and highlighting my dark circles using the new offer cosmetics sculpting wand in the shade sunrise underneath my eyes in all the areas I usually highlight my face and then the shade dawn on the highest part of my cheeks For my contour, I'm trying the shade Dusk for the hollow of my cheeks and jawline. Then I used the shade Sunset to contour my nose, again from Afra Cosmetics' new sculpting wand. They are super blendable, but I'm not gonna lie, the darker shades are more for cool tones. As you guys can see, it looks a little gray on me, but that's okay. I dust off the excess Ben Eye Banana Powder using this super soft brush from NYX. Then after that, I contour my face using these elf contour palette and i will be mixing the two darker shades on this palette to help correct the coolness of the cream contour earlier To finish the eye, I'm lining my waterline with these Long Lasting Eye Pencil by Essence. Once again, in the shade 06 Robocop. That is so funny. Then I'm gonna smudge that with this deep brown shade from my crown brush. 35 Rose Gold Palette again, and then using the brush earlier without picking any more product. I'm gonna blend everything together for a nice gradient effect. Let me know on the comment section below if you guys want me to feature this 35 rose gold palette on my What The Fuzz Wednesday. Let me know. As for my blush, I'm using Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amore. And then of course, there is no full face beat down without the over the top highlights. And you already know, I used my Offre Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. <laughs> Excuse me, let me blind your hate with my positive beam. <laughs> All right, my loves, I finished the look with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Midnight. By the way, thank you, thank you guys so much for giving me suggestions on my Instagram post. You guys are always ready for suggestions and I really appreciate that a lot. 
Anyway, since this liquid lipstick is not as pigmented as I want it to be, I top it off with Lick Cosmetics long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Blue Denim but only on the middle part of my lips. That's it for this video my loves. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye for now. Mwah. Subscribe.